Welcome, 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 welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. Uh, we're going to get into a good one. Today. And I'm going to call him Ennis. I'm going to call him Enos. Uh, you guys know who I'm talking about. Boots, Jared, Ennis. I, I don't know why I always call him Enos. Um, but we're going to get into Ennis and David Avenesian. And what should be uh, largely a one-sided beatdown. Before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3 Boxing, 3 Boxing Blog, or all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, also, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Link is in the description. Uh, we missed a lot of the week this week because my boy Oshaki Forster got robbed. Uh, but the... Parlay was nice. Um, just, you know, things happen. We hit it normally every single week. We hit it like three weeks in a row before that. And we'll hit it the next three weeks, no question about it. But join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Five dollars a month. It gets you the lock of the week. It gets you all the perks. It gets you the updated uh, prop bets. It gets you ask the bookie anything. It gets you all the best perks. Uh, link is in the description. Join the Patreon. Uh, Five dollars a month. Also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. <clears throat> All right, so let's get into this fight. Jared Boots Enos. Enos. Keep saying Enos. Lightning quick. Great athlete. Uh, keeps and maintains distance really well. Explosive and aggressive. And he also slips shots exceptionally well. I mean, he, he's an A-plus fighter. We, we guys have seen him. We know what we're looking at. Elusive. Can fight off the back foot as well. He, he's, he, he can be hard to hit. Is He's got his defensive guard where he can block shots and slip shots and slide shots really well. Uh, throws hard, clean shots from all three levels. Throws violent, explosive shots. You know, in, in a lot of ways, he's a switch hitting, more accurate, more finely tuned, more finely polished Tiafimo Lopez. Um, he is what Tiafimo Lopez should have been in, in a lot of ways. He throws hard, clean shots. A good volume can, like I said, he can switch stances. Switch stances, excellent combination puncher. Lightning quick hands, lightning quick feet. He's got a really nice jab. Lightning quick jab that he flicks out there. Uh, he, he switches up the tempo on it really well too. He'll flick it out there, flick it out there, and he'll fire it uh, like a shotgun. He's a great athlete uh, with great fighting instincts, great power. And a high IQ. He's really an A plus across the board. He, I mean, he's he's an excellent, excellent fighter. Uh, fights both both the front and back foot. He can do both. Lightning, lightning feet. Great footwork. Great gas tank. Good gas tank. He, he keeps his, his his punch output late in the fights. Keeps his power late in the fights. He gets the one thing he he gets frustrated and he gets a little wild when he does, and that's something to look out for. That's kind of the one blemish on him. But Boots is an exceptional fighter, exceptional athlete. High, you know, it's not often that the best athlete also has an off the charts IQ. When you do, you got Kobe Bryant, you got LeBron James, you got Terrence Crawford. This is the mold in which Jaron Ennis, Ennis, Ennis whatever, is a part of. He's a, he's a special talent, not just because of his athleticism, but because of his ring IQ, his fighter instincts, everything. He's a five-star fighter with a five-star brain and, and five-star fighter instincts. Like I said, the only thing he can blame is he gets a little frustrated when he does, he gets a little wild. Um, but a guy like David Avedis, he's not going to frustrate him. He wants to press the action on the inside. He stays behind a high guard and moves forward. He's a bit flat-footed, uh, not a high-volume guy. He wants to stand in and, and trade, but he doesn't jab much. He can also switch stances too a little bit, which is surprising from a, a guy like that. He's got little subtle head movements. You know, he's not completely straight out of line, uh, but he's not really athletic, and he's not super hard to hit. You can find him. He's slow, and he's easy to counter. He needs to jab more. For a guy that wants to be on the inside, he's got to work his way in on the jab. I understand why he does it because he's not very fast. And he gets he squares up a little bit and he'll get nailed. What I'm saying, he's a flawed guy. He's relentless and he's good at cutting off the ring. Uh, for a guy that's not very fast, he, he still he cuts off the ring well. He can make you uncomfortable. And that's really what his strength is. Cutting off the ring, 
applying pressure, making you uncomfortable. I just wish he jabbed more, and I wish he threw him more. Flat-footed, straight in and out. You know, basic guy. I really like the lead left hook. That's his best shot. And he's easy to tag with the left hook. So he's an interesting guy, right? Because they say don't hook with a hooker. You can nail him with your hook at will. But his hook's also his best shot. It's interesting. Do you sit and trade with them? Yeah, you know, I don't think Enos is gonna Ennis is gonna beat him to the shot, hit him to the body, and it's changed his levels really well. He's gonna time him, out quick him, and just beat him to a pulp. I think he stops him. I would say in the middle rounds. Uh, let's take a look at the odds here. So earlier, they had they did not have it up yet. Let's see if they edited it. Yay, they have. They did not have their props up before. Um, that's the bet I like a lot. You know, the over six and a half, that's, that's kind of right where I like it. That's right, in the, that's right where I think the fight's going to go. So I'm going to lay off that because that's the even money bet. Uh, this is the bet I like a lot. Enos... Ennis by stoppage. Hard all bet makes it 1538. I think this is a tremendous bet to add to your bar parlay. I absolutely think he stops David Evan easy. I would add this to my parlay. Uh, in and of itself, hard all bet makes you 1538. So you're not going to get rich off of it. It's really, really high odds. Uh, but I, I think all things considered, he stops him. And I, I think this is a great bet to add to your parlay. So uh, if you want to bet, bet it standalone, hard all bet. One times bet makes you 1538. I mean, I, I would feel comfortable doubling the bet. I mean, he's definitely going to win. Uh, but if you want to add to your parlay, um, it's going to bring down your odds. Hunter, I'll bet. I like that. 150 makes you 2307. You know, the, the, the odds aren't great, but I, I certainly feel comfortable telling you he's going to, and it's going to knock him out. I, I, I like him in the middle rounds. So let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Let me see the other props they have up here. So go the distance. Yeah, that's better. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Never mind. Um, so that's what I got. Uh, plus 150. Uh, plus, my, my, minus 650, Ian by stoppage. Minus 650, and it's by stoppage. I think it's the best bet we got here. 150, I'll bet, makes you 2307. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the boxing book in all forms of social media. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Link is in the description. And it's also in the ticket below. Files a month gets you the, all, all the perks, gets you the lock of the week, gets you the free props, gets you all the all the top notch per, per, perks. I'm I'm trouble. I'm having trouble talking, guys. It is what is it? July 8th, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you. And God. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.